the next time you're about to play with yourself, really be conscious of it and think about the fact that you're on a toilet with your headphones in, pass below your waist, about to put your hand on your penis and stroking it to get off to another man, have sex with a woman, which isn't even real sex, isn't even intimate because they're doing it to get paid. It's an act. They're told how much time they have to, you know, climax and oh, oh, make all these fake noises. It's inauthentic. But you're looking at another man naked, you're looking at another woman naked that you don't even know and getting off to that, escaping some kind of pain, some kind of rejection, some kind of trauma from the past because healed people don't do that. And look, we're all broken in some way, we all live in an imperfect world, but you can get to a point in life where you don't need this as a cope, where you don't need this to numb the pain, where you don't need this to distract you. And I'm going to be real with y'all, why didn't I do it? For 10 years of my life, all of my uh, adolescent years of uh, age 11 to 21, why did I do it? Lack of love, wanting to escape, wanting to distract myself because whenever I would go, well, the longest I could go was seven months, 212 days before I got prideful and, and fell. But I would do it because when I went an extended period of time without doing it, a week, two weeks, whatever, this tension built up. These thoughts came into play of wanting a woman, wanting a woman, and it just became too much because all I would think about was female attraction, women, companionship, and it ate me up inside. And I even, for a long time, I never really thought like, look, man, you're trying to find true happiness in a woman, in a relationship, in somebody that's going to let you down. That doesn't make sense. I never thought like that. I think like that now. Now I'm reconditioning myself reprogramming myself to understand that yeah a woman can add joy to your life a woman can add value to your life you can help her she can help you um y'all can build a legacy but at the same time that shouldn't be the end goal that shouldn't be like oh yeah i'm gonna get the woman and just be done like that's it you know throw in the towel we're all good but that's what i wanted it to be see it's all cope man making a lot of money cope buying things cope um women cope Alcohol, cope, smoking, cope, it's all cope. It's all because we don't have the love that we, we want. And the love that we want is from God, having a relationship with God. Because we're part of the creation. We were made in the image of God. If we were made in the image of God, that's so we can experience His love, His presence. And Jesus brought us back to that. By Him redeeming us through His blood, blood is life, sin is death. By him fulfilling that law, fulfilling that prophecy, and having faith in him, you become an heir of God. You can have a relationship with God. That's what it's all about. And this world is about advancing God's kingdom. I mean, creation is evidence of the creator, and I don't understand atheists. How do you live life with no hope, knowing that you'll die? I guarantee, bro, if you were on the battlefield as an atheist, you would not be an atheist no more. Guarantee it. See, atheists are very prideful. They think they know it all. They're very prideful people. And for a point in my life, I was looking into Islam. I was going down New Age, meeting up with psychics, doing tarot cards, all, doing uh, medium readings, doing all that. But yet, like, God called me back. I was done with Christianity. You know, I thought church was too religious. Nobody could really answer my questions I had about it. So... I was one foot in with Islam, one foot in with New Age, and then Christianity was kind of on the side, but I had a dream happen to me that led me back to a relationship with the true and living God. See, it's not about religion. It's not about just going to church, checking it off the box. That's a, a piece of the pie, right? Being around like-minded people, getting to get involved in community, stuff like that. But yeah, there's a lot of hypocrites in the church too. There's a lot of corruption in the church too, and... You just have to have the discernment to uh, pick that apart. But anyhow, got off topic, man, but somebody ne needed that. Um, yeah, watching the videos is just weird. Like, I mean, really think about it. You're a grown man pleasuring himself to other people having sex. Like, to me, that's just weird. Like, it's just, you're having... You're in your, your <laughs> you're in your secret place with the devil. Like you got no lights on, trying to get the mood all right. It's all an escape, man. It's all because you don't experience love in your life that you need to. If you experience that love 
and that joy and that peace, you wouldn't do it no more. Now, you can always get prideful. You can always think that, like me, I mean, for six months, I was riding high. I felt amazing. Six and a half months. Two weeks before I relapsed, it caught up to me, though. The pride, the ego, the vanity, turning a good thing into a bad thing, it caught up to me, and I fell. But it, God, like, let me get humbled. It had to happen because I learned so much from falling after being clean for such a long time. I learned so much, and I can relate back to people now. I never thought I'd go back to it, though. When I was clean that long, I never thought I'd go back to it. My libido was basically gone. It, it was like crazy. It was just a movie. Every day, I felt energized. I felt good to go. I felt healthy. I loved it, man. But I'm going to get back up. I'm going to get back on it. I'm feeling good right now. And <clears throat> But for me, man, it wasn't really about the videos. It was more about just like getting the, the dopamine hit, getting the feeling to like reset myself. So all the thoughts of female companionship would go away. I could take the videos and leave it for real. I watch thousands of videos anyway. For me, it was more of a fantasy. It was more of, um, yeah, just shutting the mind up. Because when I would release, all those thoughts would kind of subside. They would go away for a little while. I mean, those thoughts would like ruin me. Because after a good amount of time of not doing it, they start to come in. And day by day... More thoughts will come in. More thoughts will come in. And before you know it, I can't even like interact with people like that. I mean, even in the present moment of talking to people and doing business and stuff like that, I'm thinking of women, bro. It's like, where's the girls at? Like, oh man, I'm still single. Uh, it's just, it was ridiculous. It was, I, I can't even put my word on. I, I experienced that for many years of my life. It was miserable. That's what it was too. Now the past couple weeks, I haven't really been feeling it like that, which is good. You know, I not I'm not putting myself in situations to be around um, beautiful women. Like I'm not really going out like that. I go to the gym, I play pickleball, do stuff at home, stuff like that, work. But I'm not really in a city. I'm not in like I'm in the suburbs, so I'm not in a place that. I'm going to be seeing baddies all the time and suggested clothing. But what really did it in for me was watching this guy do a video just going up to women and saying like, hey, does height matter in a guy? And if they said yes, he would say, okay, well, if you're allowed to have that opinion, guys are allowed to have, guys are allowed to say that body count matters in women to me. You know, it's like double-edged sword. Women can say height matters to them. Okay, it's acceptable. So then guys should be allowed to say body count matters to them in a woman. So then he would say, write your body count down on a whiteboard and show it to the camera. And the lowest body count out of the probably half a dozen women that did it and showed it to the camera was 13. One of them had like 129 and she was like 24 years old, 25 years old, I think. One of them had like 20 something and then 13 and a couple other ones. And I'm just like, Good gosh, bro, like you've got, thir even 13 is a lot, being the lowest one. Like 13 guys were inside of you. And how many women have those guys slept with? That's like 100 some people in and out of one person. Because if those guys slept with 10 people each, that's 130 people. But how many people have those slept with? So you got all of this contact in one person. It's nasty, bro. You got all these guys busting in one woman. All these guys busting on the woman's face. These the woman blowing off, blowing, sucking off thirteen guys, swallowing thirteen guys. Like, bro, it's just it's disgusting, bro. And it turned me off to the fact that like you're really trying to give give all this for a woman with 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 all that. You're really trying to get a woman that like you don't even know. You, you're having expectations on a woman you don't even know. And man, these women were attractive. It's a shame. That they're defiled. It's a shame. Now look, Christ can, 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 can change their life around. Not saying that. But where they're at right now, it's a shame that they're defiling themselves. And not... They're taking a life of vanity and promiscuous like living for a man that wants to give you a quality life. Wants to build a legacy with you. But they want the, the, the vain stuff instead. And it's crazy. It's sad, right? 
But again, Eve chose Satan and not Adam. So that's the world we live in. If a woman's not submitted to God, she's going to choose the world, the satanic kingdom, because the world is given over to Satan. So she's going to pick that instead of the man. The man that's going to love her, provide for her, be the head of the household. She don't want to submit to him. Submit to the satanic kingdom. That we've given Satan dominion over the world because we chose Satan in the garden and not God. But that's going to change one day. Anyhow, it truly is a wake-up call for me when I saw that. Now, sure, he's at the bar scene. And, I mean, some good girls probably go out with their friends and have a good night. But, like... Man, women just have significantly higher body counts than men. And it's sad because you're trying to grind, hustle, build all this up for what? No, I'm not saying all women are, you know, got high body counts, not virgins at the wedding night. Like some are, not a high um, amount, just like men, not a high amount. But, well, I know more virgin men than women. Anyhow, yeah, it's really unmotivating because you're trying to build all this up. And what do you get in, in return? You do get with a lot of flakes, a lot of rejections, getting ghosted, a lot of games. It's like, man, you're trying to build this, this empire, this legacy, and women don't want it like that. Women don't appreciate it like that, the, at least the women you try to talk to. But that's the key. You're trying to pull all these women through your own strength. Oh, I'm going to go on dating apps. I'm going I'm to uh, approach women, I'm going to go to the bars, I'm going to message women, and it's like, it doesn't work. Well, for me, at least, I've never really been able to find a woman I connected with in my own hands. The four women that I've experienced a good connection with, they all chose me. They all came up to me first. They all made an effort. That's what happened. So, I mean, just be patient, you know? Be patient, understand that you want real life, you don't want fantasy, you don't want the videos you don't want the vanity because it's not real it's not authentic it's going to feel much better to have a genuine connection with a woman that you love to hang out with and love to spend time with but again you don't want to hurt her you don't want to be um uh immoral to immor immoral to her by watching videos think about that how would that make her feel how would you feel if she was out here pleasuring herself to other men on videos a lot of women do not like that, do not respect that in a guy. It will hurt their feelings. It will make them feel like they're not good enough. It will cause drama, turmoil, chaos. And you can avoid that by not being an addict to that. Anyhow, it's just kind of crazy, man. Kind of crazy. You want to get a good girl and can't find one. You know, you can't just go out and find one. It's like a lot of women have growing up in broken households and don't know how that love dynamic is, don't know that healthy balance. Um, they grow up possibly in a single mom household. So then they saw the mom being the dad. They saw the mom being, you know, both sides, the masculine role model and the feminine role model. So then she's overly masculine because obviously her mom is providing for the household and, and stepping into that role. So then she be 